Hi, Lee and Laura. How are you? Alrighty, Very good. How are how you? Are you? <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Congratulations on Foundation Season 2. Lee, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Brother Day scares the hell out of me. You're so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. He just wants exactly. for you. <laughs> it's so di he's so different from Ned in the lovable Ned in Pushing Daisies. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true. Performance-wise, in what way do you find it fun to play somebody who's ruthless and intimidating? Um, I well, I don't know. I find I find the character funny. Actually, I find the character. I find his outsized ego funny. I find his relationship with um, his favorite robot funny. <laughs> I find I find a lot of no I shouldn't say funny I find it like absurd and interesting they're like these little riddles that we can untangle as actors and then pass along to the audience to to also you know untangle it's just there are these questions no answers just kind of like let's think about this in this way what happens if you die but your consciousness lives on and then there's two of them that are kind of existing independently of each other like in the the story with harry selden um and you know what what, what is an emperor uh, uh you know a, a series of cloned emperors and what happens when one decides that he doesn't want to be one of the clones anymore he's going to insert his independence he's going to um revel in his own individuality and try to write his own uh, destiny what um might the consequences be <laughs> from what i saw he was enjoying play playing the monstrous leader a lot he was enjoying it <laughs> and, <laughs> it's fun yeah, yeah. And, and Laura, if I were to walk around with my arms across my waist like you, I mean, I would my arms would fall asleep easily. I mean, what are the what are the keys? What are the tricks to being a convincing, believable robot? I'm I'm sure not blinking is part of it. I actually, I actually don't think about blinking I've or never not seen blinking. You blink. Maybe I just never don't naturally once. blink. I don't blink actually. I, now I when knew. I'm thinking about, no, I do blink, but. <laughs> No, I don't think of it. Actually, be a, a robot. <laughs> typecast. I was typecast. Did they actually find an intelligent robot? Oh my God. It's all happening. Another secret within the world of foundation. <laughs> I love it. I love playing Demersal. It's so much fun. Kind of like the challenges, the physical challenges of like not being able to express everything with your body language kind of, uh, kind of sets a tone. And then I know that it, like because she's so still and so kind of inform all the time that even like a tiniest little gesture or an eye movement has a lot of um, weight to it. So it's kind of like then you 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 can choose the moments when you kind of want to break that for a little bit. Like for season one, there's a moment when they are fighting about if he had a vision or not, and there's a moment when he lets go of the guard. Kind of like there's a moment when she's open and kind of very honest and mm. beautifully tell, talks about her own vision because also she knows it will like hurt him like he will be left with a doubt and kind of like so I, I love the way it's it's fun to play with the minimalistic movements I love this show so much uh, Lee and Laura thank you for talking to me and congratulations oh thank, thank you. you so much. thank you thank you